Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome along to uh, the official unveiling of the plaque uh, to honour June Dunn. We're a little bit ahead of schedule here, but I think everybody's here who is expected to be here this afternoon. So uh, we'll get the show on the road. I see everybody has done the right thing and, and maintained a, a space to allow pedestrians to move up and down the footpath. So where we are is just fine. So uh, without any further ado, I'd like to hand over to the Mayor, Councillor Rod Kendall. Thank you, Mr Mayor. Thank you, Thank you Phil. Uh, General Manager, uh, Mr Philip uh, Pinion, members of the Australia Day uh, Committee, family and friends of June Dunn, particularly Pat and Nancy, um, my fellow councillors, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to uh, begin by acknowledging the Radjuri people who are the original custodians of this land. I'd like to pay my respects to elders both past and present and I would like to extend uh, that uh, respect to all community members here today. Uh, thank you to everybody who has come along to honour our 2013 Walk of Honour recipient, June Dunn. As Mayor of the City of Wagga, it gives me a great pleasure to be here today to unveil this plaque. I think uh, that's a reminder for me to be here, by the way. <laughs> this year, the City of Wagga Wagga honours someone who made a significant contribution via her contribution to the performing arts. June was a well-known and leading figure in Wagga uh, Wagga Wagga's uh, cultural life for more than 50 years and, and was a dedicated and vital member of the School of Arts for all of that 50 years. June's contribution to the performing arts is a testament to her passion, natural flair and dedication. Perhaps her major contribution was as a driving force of the School of Arts annual drama festival which extended for some 25 years uh, of that time. June's enthusiasm, organisational skills and sheer force of personality led to this festival becoming one of the most respected and popular festivals uh, of short plays in New South Wales and beyond. In addition, June played a leading role in establishing the Riverina Theatre Company, first known as the Riverina Trucking Company, and later the Riverina Playhouse. Through all of her activities, June remained a lady of elegance, style and humour. She was charming, but often quirky. She was a dedicated and caring friend to very many people. Her contributions to the community have helped enrich Wagga's cultural life and promoted the city widely. She was popular, uh, a knowledgeable mentor for many young people and inspired many artistic projects within this city. June gained respect and admiration of a wide cross-section of the Wagga Wagga community. June is the 30th inductee and joins other individuals who have already been installed in this work, Walk of Honour along the pavement of Baylor Street. And I know that very many people who visit this city and the residents of the city um, take great interest in, these, in, in this Walk of Honour, are stopping to, uh, stopping to read the plaques and to acknowledge in their own way that very special contribution that every one of the, uh, the recipients have made to Wagga. At this time, I'd like to pause also, um, and Councillor Pointer, I know, would like to make a few personal remarks as well through his personal uh, uh, association with June over the years. Thanks, you, thank you, Kevin. Um, thanks, Rod, and thanks for the opportunity to speak on, on what's a really important day for, for our community in honouring a, a very important person, not only to the people gathered here today, but to um, generations of artists who have passed through Wagga. Um, one of the things that um, always strikes me when people talk about June is what a multifaceted human being she was. Um, we've heard a few uh, things that she's done in her life today, but there is so much more that people around here know. Um, I'm, I'm always struck by 
a story I heard about her on one particular occasion when the Riverina Theatre Company was uh, about to lose its funding from the Australia Council and June was the chair at that time, took the plane to Sydney, met with the Australia Council and told them why they weren't going to take the funding away um, and they didn't. Uh, th and that was a feat that some of us who tried at later dates couldn't quite manage. Um, so she was a remarkable woman who, who um, poured her heart and her considerable intellect into providing opportunities in the arts for this community. Um, on a personal note, when I, um, I moved here in 1987, June was one of the first people I met through her association with the Riverina Theatre Company. I was engaged to become the resident stage manager at that stage and I, I thought I'd move here for a year and then go back to my life. When I arrived I met June and, and she took the time to ensure that uh, as a young person coming to this town I had the things I needed to actually live. I, you know, I, uh, for the first week I had a table and plates and cutlery because June was absolutely certain that I was going to be able to survive in this town and it's a mark of, of her um, qualities as a human being that she, does, she did things like that. I, um, uh, she, I, I've been here for much longer than that year and uh, developed my career as an artist here and all through that time June took a, took a great interest in my work as a young artist and as a developing artist and was always talking to me about the work that I was doing, um, encouraging me and uh, mocking me on occasions when I needed um, and I know that she did that for many, many artists. So it's a great honour to be able to be here to speak today. And um, thank you all. Thank you, Kevin. It's through this Walk of Honour plaque that, J that June has become an integral part of Wagga, of Wagga Wagga's history and memory, and it's, sorry, an eternal part of Wagga Wagga's history and memory and uh, will always be looked to and admired as a woman who pursued what she loved in life with passion, commitment and grace. I'm proud to be with you today to unveil this park for June Dunn and it now gives me pleasure to hand over to Pat MacDonald who also has words uh, to say. Thank you, Pat. Thank you, Mayor Rod Kendall and General Manager Phil Pinion, uh, Carly Piper, who's been such a great help and terrific through this whole idea, which has lasted about a year, hasn't it, Carly? Uh, for Sally Marceau, she's not here, is she? No, and um, she designed the plaque that we're unveiling today. And also uh, Nancy Blacklow, who was the instigator of all this, got on board and, and uh, nominated her for the Walk of Honour. And she's been wonderful. Thank you, Nancy, and all her committee from the School of Arts, of course. And friends of June Dunn, especially Ida Buckley, who's been June's best friend for many years, haven't you, Ida? And uh, it's wonderful to see you here today. And I know June would be really happy about that. And also all our family who have travelled great distances, some of them, and they're here to acknowledge June today. And on behalf of the family, I'd like to thank all involved in this wonderful tribute to June, our aunt. She now has a, a lemon-scented gum tree planted in her honour at the Civic Theatre on the corner of Morrow Street and Tarcutta Streets with a plaque that reads, A True Lady of the Theatre, which is very becoming of her. Thanks to Nancy and the members of June, uh, members of the um, School of Arts. She was nominated for the Walk of Honour on Australia Day ceremonies and she was successful, which has um, been a tribute to her and also a journey which has lasted a whole year. Um, this journey has culminated in this plaque which will be a reminder of her achievements for generations to come. The position of the paver is very relevant because it's close to the Civic Theatre and the Council Chambers where she spent a lot of her time and close to her last place of residence. June was an actress 
and loved life to the fullest and I can imagine how she would have been overjoyed with the accolades and attention she has received this year. We feel very proud of the contribution she has made to her life and for the dedication she has given to her family along the way. Many thanks to the Council for organising this plaque dedication and for the afternoon tea which will be provided. It has been a humbling experience for the family, but a great memoriam to our aunt, June Dunn. Thank you. Thank you, Pat, and uh, thank you, Councillor Pointer and Mr Mayor, for your comments. Could I now call on you, Pat, to join with the Mayor in the official unveiling. And we, we have another little bit of the ceremony still to go, and I'd like to invite the Mayor to present uh, Pat MacDonald and Nancy Blacklow each with a framed replica of the plaque. Uh, very briefly, I've been given the opportunity to speak and I don't have anything ready, uh, but I'd just like to say uh, thank you very much to the Wagga City Council for the honour that they have bestowed on our very, very wonderful member and friend, June Dunn. Uh, the plaque uh, is... The, the copy of the plaque, I should say, will now be hung in our basement theatre underneath the Civic Theatre alongside the certificate which we received on Australia Day when she was named as the recipient. So um, it's going to be there for our members to see for a long, long time. And I thank Pat for her kind words and the family for their support of this endeavour. And thank you all for coming. Thank you, Nancy. Uh, that concludes the proceedings, but please uh, uh, accept the invitation to come back to the council meeting room to enjoy afternoon tea together. Thank you very much.